Here's my ND Miata 2016. So when I first got this thing, I started to uh, practice heel tolling. Heel tolling. And obviously the uh, the uh, gas pedal here is uh, it's electronic. So basically it's a uh, um, throttle by wire, right? If you look at it, the height between the two, the height between the two is, man, it's over an inch. Actually, let me grab my, let me grab my uh, tape measure and uh, just quickly measure it. But anyway, so I got this versus, uh, this versus uh, engineering uh, pedal, so it makes it easier to heel and toe. Versus is, you know, I really like, you know, they're, they're expensive stuff. They, their stuff really is expensive, but, but it's, it's, the quality is very high, so I really like it. So here's my tape measure to see what the actual uh, distance is there. I didn't even measure this thing, but let's see. So, let's see. Let's see if I can adjust it like this. Let's see. I'm flat. Let me use a screwdriver. That's no, not very good. So it's about, it's about an inch and a half. Looks like an inch and a half, maybe two inches. So somewhere between an inch and a half and two inches difference in, in the height between the two. So anyway, so I, so, uh, so, you know, I got this car back in 2018. So it's been four years already. So anyway, so when I first got it, I started, to, I practiced heel and toe. Before that, I have my, uh, you know, I'm, obviously I still have it, but I have my Honda Fit and I tried to heel and toe on Honda Fit. It was just, it didn't work. It's just the, the pedal was just too far apart and just uh, the depth wise, you know, the height wise of the pedal was too far apart as well. I just, I couldn't do it. Uh, it was just way too awkward. But this one, I was like, oh, this is way better than the, the Fit. But uh, so, so it took me like a year to get used to that muscle memory. Cause it was just, you know, cause before I never did it before. And it was just so odd trying to do it, trying to uh, heel and toe, it, it, you know, muscle memory wise, it just completely awkward. So it took me like a year to get the, the muscle memory down. And, and since then, you know, I've been doing it, uh, I mainly do it when I'm driving aggressively. When, I, when I'm not driving aggressively, there's no need to it for it. But sometimes I still, still try to do it just to, just to you know, uh, keep, my, uh, keep the, uh, the practice going. Uh, but anyways, uh, I never quite got smooth at, at it. So I'm thinking maybe because the, the height difference between the two is the problem. It's the, you know, the, the, because of that difference in height and depth between the two. So maybe that's why I'm, I wasn't smooth with it. Um, when I'm driving really aggressively, I'm smoother than compared to just, you know, dri driving around normally. If I drive around normally, uh, it's not smooth at all whatsoever. Uh, it's it's almost like like I'm I'm can't do it at all. Uh, but driving aggressively, I can because I think driving aggressively, um, you're on the pedal, the brake pedal, harder, so it, so it drops down closer to the throttle, right? So so the level is more even. So that's why I think that's why it's smoother in that regards. Um, whereas when you're driving normally, you're not as hard on the pedal, the brake pedal, so it doesn't drop, doesn't go down as far so the distance between the you know the, the height difference between the two is greater so that's why i think it's not as smooth so anyways so with that said with all that said the versus what this does is that it it makes the height closer to to each other you know it makes the uh this was expensive too you know it's like 150 bucks or whatever uh Something that I don't remember exactly what it was, but it was expensive. But the Versus uh, makes it, um, I think about half an inch or so closer. You know, it, it raises the, the, the throttle pedal half an inch or so, approximately. Maybe slightly more. Um, yeah, it looks like a little more. Let's see if I can eyeball this. Yeah, it's about you know yeah, it's approximately half an inch from the from the back right here where the stock pedal would press against to the front right here. So so that will um, that will uh, you know 
make the two level a little bit closer together and it, it'll be a little bit smoother a little easier so that way when i do it it doesn't it's not as jerky um so yeah so i'm gonna install this in here i'm not sure if you need to take the actual pedal out or not um let's see this goes down right here this one goes up right here three and three this is a really nice piece I was gonna say it's CNC and let me see, is it CNC? Yeah, it is CNC. Uh, Cause I could see the machining mark in here. All the machining marks from the uh, for the mill. So it's been milled out, milled out, then blasted, you know, bleed blasted, some type of media blasting. I don't, I don't know if it's beads, but some type of media blasting to give it this texture. Um, so that's why it's expensive. You know, anything, anything that's CNC is expensive. Um, the stickers. I'm a, I'm a fan of Vers uh, Verus. As you can see, Ver Verus, Verus, no, not Versus, Ver Verus. I'm a fan of theirs because you know I have their underbody aero aero kit. Really high quality. Um, made a big difference in the sound. Uh, quiet, it quieted up the car. The underbody kit. That, that was the biggest thing that I noticed was how quiet it was. I was like, whoa, this thing is quiet. It's like the difference of of when I put in the uh, sound deadening in the car, which is no sound deadening, it was that much of a change uh, with the underbody kit. Let's see, how does this fit in there? Let's see, oops. Yeah, kind of an awkward angle here. The camera can only go so far. Cameras only go up so high, my tripod, I should say. Let's see, okay, this is like this then. So it sits like this. Like yeah, it sits like that. So basically, it only raises it up. It raises it up. Oh, look at that. It's almost pretty close to being together. Or oh, it feels closer. Um, okay, so I see it. So it goes like so. Now it goes like so. How this works here is uh, how this works here is these pieces mount behind, right? Obviously behind. Let's see, is this one like this or is this one like this? Uh, no, it's not like this. It's like this. So with this, with this, this lump right there. So it's like that. And this one is, uh, let's see, is it like this? Or like this? I'm not sure. I'm not sure which way it is. See, this way or this way, it can't be like this. It's possible it could be like this, but I don't think it is. I think it's, I think it's this way. So anyway, so this, uh, so I think in the, uh, I, I've seen pictures and stuff of this, where they took out the whole entire brake, uh, not the brake, the throttle pedal. So what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to do it without taking off the brake, um, the brake, I mean the throttle pedal at all. I'm just gonna stick it in and try to see if I can slide this behind. This one doesn't need to be stood behind because it's from the top. The top doesn't have anything, but this one, it might not fit behind the pedal or sliding behind the pedal. Let's see if all these bolts are the same or not. Yeah, they're all the same. So all the bolts are the same. So there should be six of them. Why is there only four lock, lock nuts? There should be six of them. What the hell? One, two, three, four. Oh, there's only four. No, there should be five, not six. Three, four, five. There's only four here. Ready? Let them just fall down somewhere and not see it. Ugh. A bunch of washers, lots of washers. See, there's one set, two set, three set, four set, five sets. Yeah, that's right. One for the one for the bolt and one for the nut. This one's missing one one nut. Oh, don't tell me I need to contact him and. Send it to me, but that's a pain in the ass. I'd rather just go, it's easier just to go to the hardware store. 
you need to go to the hardware store huh? and get one of these these uh looks like stainless steel um nylon lock nuts let's see let me see if i chopped chop one underneath here somewhere nope there's nothing here i didn't chop one i didn't feel i didn't feel like i chopped one Nothing. Okay, well, I guess I have to do this uh, another time, another, you know, come back to it. So you see that on the next clip, I suppose. All right, so I'm back. Uh, let's, see, let's see if I can oh, let me zoom in, let me zoom out. So obviously I'm back. Uh, so you just found out that the... Uh, so there was, remember there was four, four lock nuts. Oops, four these tiny little lock nuts. And I thought I was missing one. But actually, you don't actually need four. You only need three. Because the three up on, up on here, you know, for this bracket, you need the lock nut for the bolt to go through. But the bottom one, you don't. Because this bracket here, this bracket is actually threaded. So this one doesn't need the... Uh, doesn't need the lock nuts or doesn't need nuts so you actually only need three three nuts so let me take one away and they actually gave me six bolts so you only need five bolts not six so take one away from here uh, so three nuts let's see i have a washer on each bolt here these five bolts washer for each uh each of these nuts i don't think you need a washer for those three but i'm gonna have a washer for those three anyways um all right, so so I think this this one is pretty uh, self-explanatory. So this thing with the little uh, pump right here, it goes basically like, like this, and the holes match up. All right, the holes right here match up, and that and this clamps on the uh, on the pedal. But if I flip it the other way, the holes don't, actually don't match up. So you can't mix, you know, you can't mix this one up. So the holes don't match up or flip it, flip it this way. So it's obviously it's this way. Like so. And the bottom one. The bottom one. Let's look at the bottom one more carefully. So this bracket on the bottom, there's a little stiff right here. Let's look at that. So that. So this this little cutout right here. This little uh cutout right here. See that? That's to clear the floor side. So so you actually face it so that way the cutout is on the bottom. Uh, facing the front on the bottom so so this lift right here see this lift right here so it's like that so it should fit like this like that the reason why they, ha they have that cut out right here on the bottom when you're back here like so and you step on the pedal you know when you're stepping on the pedal this this right here on the back is, is getting closer to the floorboard so it needs this little clearance to clear the floor the floor so i believe that's what it is because it's not you know it's not like this it's, it's like this the 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 bracket is angled oops i just lost my headlight my headlight just went out of batteries there where's my other headlight it's my backup let's have a backup headlight here a little cheap headlight that i got from costco for like i think was it 15 bucks or 20 bucks whatever it is Okay, so anyway, so this bracket here, if I, uh, so it's, it's like this with the, with the little cutout right there like that. If I do it like this, I can see that it's facing straight out. And it would line up, it would line up with this bracket here. And it mates up perfectly, right? It mates up perfectly with the, with the, the pedal. Uh, but if I do it like, say, this way, it doesn't line up. The angle, the angle here, if I face it the wrong way, the angle here would be actually like, like that. It's angled like that instead of being parallel with each other. But if I have it like this way, it's parallel. And it doesn't really fit any other way, or it doesn't fit with this uh, cutout part right there. It doesn't, it doesn't, if you face it the other direction, facing the floorboard, it doesn't really fit either. Um, either direction doesn't really fit because 
if there is a, you know, the, the pedal does have a certain thickness to it. So that's why, that's why they have that, the cutout here. So, to, so that way that thickness could, uh, could sit inside, inside here. Okay. So let me put this on first. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna start screwing this on just like this. Then I could just kind of, I think I could slip this over the, I wonder if I can slip this over. Well, maybe not, because I think it's recessed. No, okay, I could. Okay, that's, oh my god, there's like no space in here. It's literally like no space in here. No space to work. Right, so let's get this first bolt in here. Oh, we gotta move. Please. I should slide my seat back. That's what I should do. Let me slide my seat back. Just to see this a little bit forward. Oh, it's just. Okay, start my seat back a little bit. Give me some room. Some room to work. Um, some room to work. Okay, that was, well, that's a little bit, but just a tiny bit. It gives me a few more inches. Okay, so it's like this right here. One, two, three. Let's do this first. So I guess basically just put that up right there. Like so in the back, so this is the hard part right here, because I have to reach back there. Shoot. Oh my god. Back's killing me here. Actually it's my ribs. The, the door seal is on my ribs. I'm laying on my ribs right now. So it's supposed to be like that. Through, through. Okay, everything straight through. Which we need to hold up there. Let's see. Put the washer in. One. Another nut. So if it was just a nut by itself, it wouldn't be so bad because the wash is in there as well. It makes it that much more because I have to make sure the washer stays put. Oops. Make sure the washer stays put without uh, well, falling back the other side. Okay. Oof, man. Okay, those are in. Oof. I'm not sure if you guys can see anything because I was like in there and my arm for sure, my arms were in the way, but I'm not sure if my my uh, head was in the way or not. So this one here. Threads are kind of tough because they're because the, the metal, you know, when it's machined, it was machined raw, right? But 
when they put on this black coating, I'm not sure if it's paint or what, but when they put on the black coating, it's uh, it, it made it made the metal the threads a little bit thicker. So it's kind of it's kind of a uh, it's hard to you know it doesn't screw in smoothly freely. It feels like it's like it feels almost like it was uh, misdirected, but it's not. It's just the uh, it's that coating on the on the on the back bracket. Oh my god, my neck, my neck and my shoulder is killing me. This is the only Allen wrench that I have to. Well, actually, you know what? I have individual Allen wrenches. I forgot. I need to get the individual wrench because I don't think I don't think this wrench I'm using here could fit on the uh, the right side bolt. On the bottom there, I don't have any appearance. So this thing doesn't, you know, it, it raises it up, but it doesn't bring it closer. Well, I guess it does sort of bring it closer, but maybe by like five millimeters. But it doesn't bring it that much closer. You know, if you look at, say, the the uh, the uh, flying Miata one, there's it, it only brings it up like maybe five millimeters thicker. Whereas this one is like more like half an inch. But the Fly Me Auto one, it also brings it closer to the brake pedal by, I think by like 5 or 10 millimeters as well. But uh, but the main thing I think is, is I, I don't have a problem with, when, when my feet's here, I don't have a problem getting to both both of these. The, the problem is that the, the height difference is, uh, is what, you know, what throws me off. Size is this? Let me get an individual one. This is number three. Number three, and what are these? Let me go get the proper tools. I can't. No, this wrench is killing me right here. Okay. So a three millimeter wrench and a seven millimeter uh, wrench on the back for the nut. Well, actually, no, there's, there's nothing on the back on that one. On the bottom one, it's only the, the top. The top three nuts. That's the Jeez, my, my arm and shoulder is like falling asleep here. This one look better. This one here. Reaching, barely reaching there. Oh, God. Jeez. Oh. The, the headlamps actually making keeping my head from the headlamps keeping my head from uh, the headlamps keeping my head from uh, um, being able to. Get all the way in there. Okay, what the heck's my wrench? Wrench in there. Oh, yes. Okay, get this in here first. Back. I'm pushing. Sure I don't have any. Any ratchets that are actually I think I might have a, a seven millimeter ratchet maybe. Not sure. Yeah, I don't think I could get my ratchet back there too. So I think when usually when people when they do this they they I think from what I've seen, these pictures that I've seen, people actually take off the gas pedal. That would be a lot easier, but I guess I'm a little bit too lazy. Who knows? Who knows which way is easier? Taking off the gas pedal or just slipping it on, on top like this. Shoulders. 
see. So it's getting it pretty good. Feels good. I don't feel any. I don't feel any movements. Any shaking. But I didn't actually tighten, tighten it down. God, it's hard to put both shoulders through. I only put one shoulder in. I'm okay, but when I try to put both my shoulders in, the space is too cramped. Okay, that's pretty good right there. Shoulders. Switching up, but this is killing my shoulders. This is what's hard. Okay, that's tight. That one's tight. This one there. Oh, jeez. Anyways, I'm gonna do the rest off camera. Oh my, I need a break. My shoulders are like getting sore, but at the same time, going numb and get the feelings back in them. Anyways, uh, so the height here is much closer, so that's better. So, anyways, that's how you install that. You need to tighten this. Uh, these two are tight. I need to tighten this. I think this one's tight. I need to tighten this one. Um, so, anyways, that's how you put it in. Pretty easy, huh? Straightforward. The hardest part is just reaching in here. And I'm a small, skinny guy too. So if you're big, man, you're gonna have a hard time. I guess the other way you could do, like I said, was is you take the pedal off. This it's these caps right here. You could pop these off, and I think there's something either screw or bolt or whatever. Take it off, and you have to disconnect it. Uh, I heard someone have mentioned that if you disconnect this, when you connect it back in. Uh, there's some type of like an error code or like a you know it, it it lights up on your dashboard and you might have to reset that i'm not sure how you reset that it's either you have to disconnect the battery for like 15 minutes or what or you need, maybe you need an obd reader or whatever but anyways i you know i'm like i'd rather just stick it in like this you know it's you know it's just it's just a matter of reaching in it's kind of hard but but outside of that uh, you don't have to fuss with anything else right it makes it easier okay so yeah, so I'm gonna finish tidying it up off camera and, uh, and that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.